Flavor 441, the attorney of prayer. Flavor 441, the attorney of prayer. Now, this pertains to eternal life on earth concepts. And um, that being a reality, that, that happening. God seems to indicate that if, if uh, there's eternal life on earth happening with a soul, we're entitled to eternal stuff. Now, what it is, it's, it's actually as simple as um, not quite freezing the atoms, but um, it just repairs the, the product occasionally. Has to be kept in good nick, and it just repairs it occasionally with a little bit of wear and tear. That's what it does. So you have it in your, your collection, your library, in, or, or whatever the product is, your, your collection throughout the house, throughout the abode, throughout the domicile. And it's just mostly left alone. You keep your stuff in good nick. And occasionally the Spirit of God, God Almighty, gets in there and just, you know, once you've prayed your prayers about it, it just gets in there and tweaks it a little bit to make sure it stays in, in good nick. It actually just repairs it. Just keeps in good good condition. So it's um, to give the attorney a prayer. You can use any old scriptural, any scriptural passage of the Tanakh, any chapter of the Tanakh, from Genesis one to two Chronicles twenty eight, whatever is the final chapter, thirty three or whatever the final chapter is at the end of an event, at the end of a Kephavim. Any chapter of the Tanakh will do. Or if you're using an Old Testament, that's generally going to do it as well, I would imagine. But um, any chapter of the Hebrew Bible will do. You probably should be using the full chapter. And it needs to be prayed over, essentially, you know, um, the product in mind. And um, you need to get it up to, uh, you need to get up to a hundred odd prayers prayed um, in a dedicated fashion, spiritually enough. Now, it's not really going to work until you're an eternal sort of person on earth anyway, and until you're... Um, stable enough with the items until you've got a strict enough policy to uh, to watch over them and not abuse them. But when when it starts getting in place, those ideas, and God will educate you on that by then anyway, because you'll know the law by then. Um, yeah, eternal stuff, it's, it's just preserved by God. It's just stuff which is maintained and preserved by Him. Just He just preserves it. 